verdict is reached in the Tracy Hunter trial, but we don't know what it is yet. And it's only on one of the nine counts the suspended juvenile court judge is facing. Local 12's Brad Underwood is live downtown with where deliberations stand as we enter the Columbus Day weekend. Brad. Well, good evening, Cami. And after five weeks of testimony and three days of deliberation, the jury only agreeing on count six uh, in the trial of Tracy Hunter and nothing else at this point. Now, count six alleges that Hunter used her influence as a judge to try to reverse the firing of her brother, who was an employee with the juvenile court uh, system. He was a juvenile court worker. During the trial, Hunter's brother, Stephen Hunter, testified that his sister, Judge Tracy Hunter, gave him documents regarding the case against him. Stephen Hunter's attorney also testified that she took some of those documents from Stephen Hunter, but not others because of ethical concerns. Now, this particular charge, it does carry a maximum prison sentence of 18 months, but could also be knocked down to probation. Now, as far as the other eight counts, the jury told J Judge Norbert Nato this afternoon they don't agree on any of them, and for the judge, that's simply not acceptable as he addresses them before sending them home for the three-day weekend. This verdict will be entered. We are not indicating what the verdict is, but this verdict will be entered. It's still... Um stress. It's still a lot of tension, but uh, at the end of the day, as I look back on this case and what was done over the last five weeks, I have faith in the jury uh, that uh, a significant amount of reasonable doubt was raised with respect to each and every element in each and every count of the indictment. And uh, I think uh, we proved our case when we didn't have a burden of proof. So I expect the jury, if they're fair and impartial, to come back with a not guilty verdict for each and every count in the indictment. That was Hunter's attorney, Clyde Bennett, that you just heard from making those remarks after the jury was released by Judge Nadel this afternoon. They will be back on Tuesday morning to continue deli de deliberating those other eight charges. But again, a verdict on one of them. We just don't know what that is at this point. Cami. All right, Brad Underwood, thank you. Next week marks the sixth week of Judge Hunter's trial. Just one conviction on one of the nine felonies would remove Hunter from the bench.